In this lesson, we're going to discuss the tricky act of testing system functions like time or file get contents. Let's imagine that I have a class within my source directory, and we're just going to call it foo.php again. Within here, class foo, and maybe we're going to have a method here called go, and what that's going to do is simply return the time. Return time. Now, we are taught in the testing world that this is difficult to test. And think about it. How would you perform any kind of expectation? Well, you can't fake the time. So how could you say, well, I expect the time to be called or I expect this value to be returned? It's going to be dynamic. So how do you test that? It can be difficult sometimes. What we generally end up doing is similar to this. We wrap the system function within a method, and then we can simply mock that method to return a value so that this function never gets called. So we could say, don't mock time or stub time, mock the go method, and when that method is triggered, I want you to return this stub. I'll show you another way that we can do that, though. I will begin within a vSplit by opening up a test, and we're going to call this foo-test.php, and we're going to set up a test class, foo test, that looks good. So we'll say test gets the time, and we're gonna begin by saying new, we will give it a namespace to be good developers here, and call the go method. All right, so let's namespace that, acme. And now when our first test runs, we're going to call the go method, and what are we going to get in return? Well, let's just say result, and then we will var dump that result just for now. All right, php unit. And of course, we get a timestamp. Run it again, and of course, it's going to be different each time. So like I said, one way that we can test this without just setting up a partial mock on the go method is to apply the same namespace to your test class that you did to your production class. And the way that will work is when you have a namespace and then you reference a function like this, well, it's first going to see, is it a relative function? Meaning, if we have a function here called time, because it's namespaced right here, we're first going to see if there is an Acme time function in this class. And if there isn't, we're going to default back to the global version. So that means I should be able to return gotcha. And now when we var dump result, gotcha is going to be returned instead. Let's try it, PHP unit, and we get gotcha. So that's a cool little trick that a lot of people don't know about. Once again, to reiterate, if we are using namespaces and you reference what appears to be a global function, it's first going to check whether that function exists within the namespace. And if so, that's going to take precedence. So you probably get where I'm going here now. If within my test class, I apply the same namespace as my production class, in this case, Acme, function time, return stub, like that. Now I can do this assert equals stub, and then the result. The only remaining thing to do is because we've set a namespace here, we can remove that and just set it to new foo. And then I need to set any class in the global space with a backslash. So it knows it's not looking for acme slash php unit framework test case. It just wants to look for php unit framework test case. If I now run php unit, we're getting green. So now we thought that there was no way to override system functions, but actually, as it turns out, it's very easy. Just apply the same namespace to your test class as you have in production. It's really very easy.